I have to go quickly because my phone is only at 13%, I think. 12. But, eh, Final Review was in the show, Sentinel 1 Complex, 45. It, I know it's going to be obvious if you've seen this, Sentinel 1 Review, but actually, like, this Ghost in the Shell, and the reason why is probably because it was the first Ghost in the Shell I'd ever seen. But, it, like, it genuinely is great. I think the only problem people really had with it is that it's kind of different. At least in the first season, it was kind of different. The second season, it's more gets ish. Um, excuse my stomach, you're probably going to hear that a lot, but I don't really feel well. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it was fantastic, except for the last episode. Like, the, the really, like, the last episode and a half, the really should have reworked. This is like, end of the second last episode, basically everyone is dead. And then, the last episode starts with, like, a little bit after it's like, oh well, this guy's death at the very start of the show was just a suicide. Well done, people. Good, great job. And then it repeats that. It's like, whoa, that's what? I'm getting deja vu. This is a, uh, I don't know what they call it, like a mind complex, whatever. Something like that. Um, and then all of a sudden, she wakes up and it just doesn't make any sense. I hope this isn't the end of Ghost in the Shell. Well, it's kind of written. It's trying to probably going to be like, it's the one year anniversary of the trial. One year ago, all this bad stuff happened. written nice it's not it's not and we'll never be here um well i mean he did kill a pedophile in self-defense like that's pretty damn heroic but oh no just, just keep saying that <clears throat> Cal Rittenhouse claims the media, that's that in quotes, like, if it's not the media, who, who is it? I know you're saying that it didn't happen, but, I mean, if not the media, who else? It's been hard for him to live a normal life. I think it was the fact that he senselessly killed two people. Senselessly? It was self-defense. Why is Magneto trending? So it <laughs> so it, okay, it's trending kind of. <clears throat> Giancarlo Esposito was Professor X. He's a great actor, but mm, I'm, I'm trying to imagine. I would have to see him as as Professor X the um like you know form an opinion. It could work, but I won't know until it happens if it happens. If we go to the point where having free children should be socially unacceptable, can't legislate against it or even penalize it, penalize it <coughs> physically because children could never be punished for having their parents' choices. But having free children as the world burns is surely not okay. This country sees itself as overcrowded and over generous. It is neither of those things. Immigrant. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> right. And I, and I, I get that the reason why people immigrate to here is because 
it's safer here than uh, where they come from. You know, say the Middle East. Uh, yeah. We'll say Afghanistan, which is currently run by the Taliban, because Biden. <clears throat> so people will come here because it's safer. Problem is, is that we, the country is very small, whereas Afghanistan is, you know, it, it, if we push aside the fact that the Taliban, it would be better for British people to emigrate to Afghanistan than Afghanistan people to emigrate to Britain because of the size of the countries. So, Britain is overcrowded. And it is also over generous. <clears throat> Sorry, my wife. Hope save mauled. I hope it's twins. Push wall dislikes us. Good. Like, honestly. Clash Schwab of the World Economic Forum. And, I mean, it's bad enough being the World Economic Forum, but Clash Schwab is the real life version of Doctor Strangelove. He is the one that done the Great Reset, that was trying to do a reset, where it's like, I'm not going to attempt to do a German accent, but I'm not just like read this out in a German accent. You will own nothing and you will be happy. <laughs>